Hello and welcome back to the craft box. My name is Brent and today I thought we would go through my gear setups for um, the death walkthrough and also caramel which will be releasing very very soon into test drum as of when I'm recording this it hasn't yet but I don't know when this video is going up and it might be in test drum already but anyway these are my stats that I'll be going into. I have a couple of sets. I have a healing set, a main set and a critical set. Um, this here is just my general main set that I will be using most of the time. Um, I have uh, 138 damage, um, 58 resist across the board, um, 25 accuracy, 42% um, crit, which is 556 five, crit rating, 1% um, block, 15 pierce, and 21 incoming, 2 outgoing, 107 power pips, uh, 98 shad, and 504 pip conversion, which is 33%, um, 7187 health, and um, 584 mana, not that that's really important. Um, but yeah, how I get these stats, this is this is by no means the best gear you can get, um, but I wear the Crocopetra Oblivion Fez, which is from Crocopetra Exalted Jewels, um, and this is a very, very decent hat. Um, I mainly use it for the resist that it gets. I can go way better with most of the stuff here, but I mainly use it for the resist. Um, because resist is something that I put really highly on the list of what I need for this because I want to have around 60% resist so I can, you know, kind of solo things a little bit easier. Robe, I always, um, using currently the Bone Smasher Robe, which is from the Rattlebones Exalted Jewel. Again, same, 15% resist is so crucial. Um, 19 damage, pretty okay. Um, this is probably one of the best robes, I would say, still. It's way better than the um, Dragoon um, robe currently, but I will be trying out some of those sets later. Um, not in this video, but later in the time. My boots are the Dragoon boots, which have a which I have only just recently crafted. Um, there's a video on my channel doing that, and these boots are absolutely massive for me. They give me so much more health, which is great because with using a hundred gear. I'm lacking a lot of health. Um, originally, we were using the Paradox boots, which, um, as you can see, we just, you know, it's just such an upgrade. Such an upgrade, which is fantastic. Um, so, yeah, we do lose 1% um, power pip chance, but it doesn't really matter. Really doesn't matter. That's not too much at this stage. Um, but, yeah, the ro uh, the <laughs> the wand I'm using is the Capudan's Boarding Hook. If you don't have this because you cannot get this wand anymore, I would recommend the Revered Weapon, um, which is just slightly worse. It gives um, quite a bit less crit, so you won't have as much crit as me, but Pierce is the same. Um, damage is too less, so it's not too bad, and it also gives more pip conversion as well. I have socketed to um, stun resist jewels, but you don't have to do that. You could have any other. You could have um, resist if you wanted. So yeah, it could be whatever you want. Really, um, block I think is also a square as well. Um, but yeah, so that is what I would recommend afterwards. This is technically the best death wand in the game, other than this one, which you can no longer get. So. Yeah, I would highly recommend if you don't have the Capudan's boarding hook, which you can no longer get for death, um, use the um, focused dagger, which is the revered weapon. Um, the the the, the aim that I'm using is the Lord of Death's razor. Now I use this on all of my sets, um, just because at the moment that is the only real good aim that I have. Um, this is from Yavingi in the graveyard. It's the Lord of Deaths, so obviously from Darkmoor. I have socketed health. Um, Pierce, crit, and extra accuracy. Accuracy is, in my, important, in my opinion, very important. Um, 25 is basically enough to cast most spells, I believe. Um, so, yeah, we should be fine accuracy-wise, which is good. No fizzles is always great. Um, the amulet I wear is the Shadow Queen's Grace, which is obviously from Morganth. Um, very good amulet. There are others that you can go for, but this is the one that I rock. It gives a blade, which is important to me as well. Um, I just have a bit of resist, flat resist, and um, a bit of uh, extra health, which I can upgrade that jewel later, but it eh, doesn't really matter. Um, Ghost Dog Samurai Band. Now, I got this randomly while I was um, questing in Chrysalis. It's not exactly the best, but for what I have at the moment, um, it I like the damage on it. I'm going more for a damage and resist in this set, so having 11% damage is crazy. The Paradox Ring only has 9 um, it does have extra crit, but you also don't have the power pip chance, which 14% does take me over to 100. Um, obviously, we have 107, so I can lose a bit of it, but I 
think that having max power pip is also very important for me as well so that's why i'm rocking this i don't know who i got this from i'm assuming it's ghost dog and possibly either the end of part one or the one in the galleries possibly i'm not 100 percent sure but i got this randomly while i was questing and it's actually good um this pet lady luna is my death pet obviously we have mass faint jewel socketed um which is a kruger card so you don't have to have that you could have any other damage or whatever you wanted there um but it has let's just look at it pain giver um spell proof spell defy death dealer death giver and then pain bringer and mass faint so yeah that's a pretty good pet um this is in the kiosk all the time so if you want to hatch with this pet you can um as with all of my pets that i'm showing in this setup now i have a lot of mounts um i generally use the scarisol at the moment but i could use any others i do have the festive fox if i want the da um pierce i have the death gulch if i wanted extra damage which would take me up to uh 141 so if i wanted to rock extra damage i can don't usually because generally i'm doing pretty well as we go in the scarisol is cool the deck i use is the lord of death's bit of hand this deck can use way more upgrades but i just haven't really focused on it it gives a extra pip which is very important um also gives a wee little bit of crit and a bit of health so you know it, it's not the best it also has 10 max copies which is kind of cool in case i need extra stuff generally i don't but if i did i, I could i could also replace the socket for something if I, for accuracy if i wanted to but i would slip under 100 percent power pip which i'm not too much of a fan of um but this is my main deck setup we have um one two three four five six um epics we have a lulu we have a death blade we have um two scarecrows a scion two ship of fools you can replace that with their knight or something else i just like having a low hit aoe just in case i need to um, obviously a reshuffle we have a sharpen blade we have a death blade and a death blade and a faint the one of the blades and one of the faint is from my pet and the other one is from the morgan amulet and the sharpened blade is from the boots um if i was doing a boss fight i would probably put in the potent and put in an extra faint or two um so then i could potent the faint and not worry too much about it but generally i don't use that at the moment because i'm not questing um but yeah that is my deck set up for this gear um let's move on to my healing set most of you will see me do this when i'm in a group because generally i jade um, I have 11 damage, which is fantastic. 60 resist, which is not great, but you know, it's definitely something. Um, 6,000 health, uh, 7 accuracy, which definitely needs to improve. This set really, really does need a big improvement, but I have 24 block, 5% um, stun resist, 116 outgoing, and 14 incoming. Um, pip conversion, 5, doesn't really matter. 88 power pip, not too bad. 82 shadow pip, which is again, not too bad. Um, it's it definitely needs some work and i will be working on this set a lot more in the future but at the moment this is what we do we have the jade hood um the spooky carnival robe for 130 which has the mass sacrifice um spell obviously uh we have the jade boots we have the jade wand which is the silver order of the spiral um which is a cool wand um we have king alric's royal athame again i got this in chrysalis don't know where but it gives a lot of outgoing, so it's cool. I use it, gives block. Could be better, yes, but at the moment, don't really care. Um, Life Mastery Amulet, I would love to upgrade this to the Exalted Life Mastery Amulet, but, you know, it, we'll, we'll see if I ever get that. The Ring of the Dying Star is the what I use for my ring, which gives 35% outgoing, which is crazy, 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 crazy numbers, plus 14% um, power pivot is cool. Um, my Life my healing pet is um make us sprightly fairy sprite queen healing current unicorn and also has pigsy as well which gives a four percent outgoing damage um which again is in the um kiosk if you wanted to do this will i make a better pet later possibly but at the moment this pet does exactly what, what i need it to do which is heal me specifically so i can heal other people this is the deck that i use um it's in no means good but the horizon hold of um the horizon hold array of gloom which is i believe the um rat deck i believe um it's not the best one because obviously the best one would be um the triangle socket but hey we don't have that at the moment so that's fine um and this is generally actually no we have a bad deck see they'll take the moment we don't look at that i need to actually redo it for medulla 
crits in a few days but hey that's fine anyway the last set that i want to show is my crit set um which gives me 100 percent crit uh we'll just go over the stats first 7335 health um we have 122 damage which really needs to get better this set is really really not done um 31 resist 31 accuracy which means never fizzle um 840 crit which is 100 percent crit which is fantastic um one percent block uh eight percent ps 31 incoming 10 outgoing uh 95 percent power pips five percent pip conversion 102 shadow pip and the gear that we use for this is the Paradox hat, which will be eventually changed to the Dragoon hat, but I need to craft that, and that's a whole whole another thing. Um, we have the Bone Smasher robe, which, again, I'll be upgrading soon. This set is definitely not done, but at the moment it works. Um, we have the Dragoon boots, which are basically a very big staple. Previously, we were using the Paradox boots, which, again, just fantastic. Um, the wand, we're using the Tormented Shredder, which gives 195 death crit. Um, which is fantastic. Basically the crit staff, every school has one. It's from the Halloween pack. So if you want to get it, now's the time. Um, we have the Athain, which again is the Lord of Death's Razor. We have the Shadow Queen's Grace. Again, we have the Paradox Ring this time, however, um, which is good. We'll be upgrading that to the Dragoon Ring sometime soon. Um, obviously this gives quite a lot of quite a bit of crit and damage. Um, I was, have also socketed extra crit as well. Um, we have the pet, the crit pet, which is Queen Elwood. We have Death Striker, Painbringer, Critical Hitter, Death Dealer, Death Giver. Could be better, and Death Assailant. Um, could be a bit better, but hey, you know, it's it, it works. It works, it's 10 dealer. I'm not complaining. I ain't complaining about that. And then the mount, I generally use the Death Culture just to boost up my damage a little bit more, because we do lack a lot of damage on this set, which is the only one downside. And we also roll the Paradox deck, which I will... Actually, I don't think there's an upgrade to this, but at the moment, Paradox deck is very good. Um, I've socketed extra power pick chance just because I'm slightly lacking in it. Not too much, but it could be better. Um, so yeah, that is my deck setup. Um, my deck setup is just um, a bit weird at the moment as well. But yeah, that is my setups for this character. Um, in case you're wondering for when I start questing in Caramel, what I'm using, that is what I'm using. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. If you have any suggestions for me, let me know down in the comments below. Um, share your setups as well, if you want to. Um, but otherwise, thank you for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe. If you're a subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And remember to craft outside the box.